Today we're going to be painting some Russian nesting dolls. This is a gift for my friend's daughter for her very first birthday. Now there are six pieces in this set, but I take away the two smallest ones as I think they're unsafe for an infant. First thing we have to do is add some gesso to this wood to get it ready for the acrylic paint. And boom, there we go. And now I'm just adding golden fluid acrylics in their tur turquoise color. I just went with straight from the bottle color just to keep things nice and easy for me and painted them all. I think two layers of paint did the trick. And the theme for this is You Are My Sunshine, which is the baby's nursery theme. And I thought it would be nice either as a knickknack or if the parents want her to play with them, they will be cute little fun stacking toys as well, depending on what they're comfortable with. So you can see here, I have to do a lot of layers with the yellow. It did not go over well on the turquoise. I should have painted it white first. And I learned from my mistake and I did the rest of them in solid white first and then painted on top just so I wouldn't have to do so many layers like I had to do with the yellow paint. You live and you learn. <laughs> I went with a pretty simple design for this project, knowing that painting on cursed surfaces would be slightly difficult. And even though I chose something simple, this project was pretty hard to do. And I made a lot of mistakes. I got so frustrated doing this. You'll see, I have to paint over things, repaint them again. I think two different times I mess up with it. But in the end, they looked pretty cute. So I, I guess I'm like kind of happy with them. My friend whose baby they're for, she's an amazing artist. And in a way that puts on a little bit more pressure because I'm like, oh my goodness, of course this is going to be for someone who knows about art and I make all these mistakes and have to fix them. And you know, I just got into my own head a little bit about that, but she's also my really good friend who loves handmade gifts and makes me handmade things all the time, uh, especially with her knitting. So I know she'll appreciate them just for the simple fact that I made them. But while I was creating them, I definitely was getting a little hard on myself about it. And here I'm using some Posca pens. You can see they always do that where they kind of, the fabric of the nib sort of gets chewed up a little bit by either if you're using it on paper or in this case wood. And you'll have to pull little bits of it off. Otherwise it is left behind on whatever you're painting on. So that's a common thing with Posca pens for whatever reason they do that. But, you know, you get used to it. And I thought this would make it easier to draw on the colors of the, the ray beams, beam rays, ray beams, beam rays. What is the word? <laughs> Anyways, let's just move along from that little word stumble there. I think we all know what I'm trying to talk about at least. So yeah, I have to do lots and lots of layers with these. As you can see, I'm going over them and then over them again with the Posca pens. And eventually I wisen up and I add white to the yellow and then go over it again in the yellow. And that really seemed to do the trick. Oh, you can also see in the corner towards the left side in my sketchbook, I just have a rough little drawing of an idea of how this is going to look. I kind of tested out which eye I wanted to use and that sort of thing. And here's a little face and a little bit of blush because we got to be happy and cute. Ah, yes, here it is. Mistake number one. I smeared the Posca pen before it dried because these are paint pens and just like paint, they need some time to dry. And I wiped my finger or hand or something over it. So I had to paint over it in white and then I went over it um, in the yellow a few more times and then added the smile back in. And guess what? That's not the first time that, or the last time rather, that I do that to one of these. I do it in just a moment to this little cloud as well. Because <laughs> apparently I had to make that mistake a few times to learn my lesson. Now I'm just adding this cute little dot pattern to help complete the whole doll and give it a more finished look.
here that I'm painting, I do a wet on wet technique. So you need to make sure that your Posca pens are really activated and flowing freely for this to work well. And I just do a layer on top of a layer and then blend it in with the next color. So I'm just using gray and white to get the sort of texture of the moon. And it looks really cool in person and really kind of realistic almost too. This was definitely a slightly difficult project, but I'm happy that I saw it all the way through, that I didn't give up on myself. And each time I had a bit of an obstacle or hurdle that I pushed through and kept on painting, even though I definitely wanted to give up a few times. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. If you made it this far, please give my video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Now for some close-ups.